64% of developers think AI is not a threat to their job. 72% aren't vibe coding and 80% don't even use AI agents. This massive widespread complacency is the biggest career ending mistake that I'm seeing for software engineers. But this changes right now. In this video, I'm going to show you that the role of a regular software engineer is already obsolete. And I will give you the only roadmap to make yourself irreplaceable as a software engineer. And the skills that will save you have nothing to do with coding. For those of you who are new, welcome, I'm Bago. I started off as a junior developer, just like many of you, and got promoted to an engineering manager in just three years at the Fortune 500. And tired of the corporate grind, I left to co-found AB Analytics, a B2B AI consulting firm that brought in about this much in revenue, not profit, in the last month alone. Today, I also run code to ceo where I help software engineers just like you transition from unfulfilled employees to highly paid, high leverage business owners without burning out and without guesswork. The reason I am making this video is that I'm seeing a massive dangerous disconnect in 2025. On one hand, I see the statistics. I see the comfortable, complacent developer making six figures who thinks their job is safe. And on the other hand, I see the reality. I see the AI agents that are getting exponentially better every single day. And this gap between perception and reality is the trap. And 64% of you are walking right into it. You see, most software engineers fail to see the threat because they are looking at AI completely wrong. They see AI as a slightly better autocomplete tool, a coding assistant. They're still thinking about it from within the corporate nine to five bubble. And take a look at yourself. You're a highly intelligent, technically proficient professional, probably at a top tier tech company. You've most likely achieved conventional success. I mean, you have a good salary and you're respected for your skills, but end of the day, you are by definition a caged overachiever, meaning you are capable of a lot more, but your cage has made you comfortable. So you might believe that your technical proficiency is a shield that makes you valuable, but in today's market, it's really not. It's a target. While people are debating the ethics of AI or whether it's real coding to vibe code, the stats are still terrifying. 72% of devs are not vibe coding, 52% don't use AI agents to code, and 38 have no plans to ever adopt these AI agents. And this is simply delusion. This is like a medieval knight polishing his armor while the enemy is literally inventing gunpowder. You think your value is in your ability to write clean, efficient code, but it is not. You're proud of your craft, but in 2025, everybody can code. Everyone has Cursor, Stack Overflow, GitHub, Copilot, Cloud Code, and now even swarm agents that can build entire applications from just a single prompt. So your coding ability isn't nearly the advantage as it used to be. It is now the baseline. And this complacency, this belief that your hard-earned skills make you safe, is the real threat in today's market. Because while you're spending two weeks on a sprint to let's say build a new feature, a 17 year old kid in their dorm room is using an AI agent to build your entire company's product in a single weekend. And this brings us to the reality that 64% of you are actively ignoring. And I want you to understand, AI agents aren't just a 10% improvement. They're not even 2x improvement. They are a 100x night and day difference multiplier. I'm talking about projects that would normally take a team of five developers, a product manager, and a designer three months to complete. Now being built, tested, and deployed by one person. Take a look at Paul, one of our students from code to ceo explain his coding setup where he builds a full stack application in a week. Think about it. If it's 10 features or less, it could be done in a day. I'm going to regenerate all the code for this project because it only takes a day. So I don't, it's basically, okay, I can start from scratch anytime I want. I actually haven't written any code in probably two months. I just use an agent. It definitely cuts down months of work down into hours, which is insane. A full stack application, a complete SaaS product with a database, user authentication, a Stripe integration, and even a responsive front end, all built and deployed by a single solo operator. So this is the end of the coder as we know it. If your entire job, your entire value to a company can be summarized as, okay, so I take a ticket from Jira, I write the code to a specific spec, 
I push it to a PR and then I move on to the next ticket. Well, your job is pretty much finished. It will be automated. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. It will either be done by a single AI operator who manages five coding agents, or it will be done by the product manager himself, who can now just tell the AI what he wants and it will be built by the AI. So let me be perfectly clear. AI will replace you. It will replace the coder. It will replace the pair of hands. If what you're offering looks exactly like what 100 other developers are offering, clients will also compare you. And when clients compare you, they will choose the cheapest, fastest, and most efficient option. And in today's world, the cheapest, fastest option is an AI agent that works 24 seven, never complains, and doesn't need stock options. If your value is just writing code, you become a commodity and commodities always get replaced. And if any of this is hitting home, if you're realizing that you have been stuck in that quarter spiral, just leveling up your tech skills while feeling completely drained by the corporate machine, then this is your call to action. At Code to CEO, I help mid to senior level software engineers just like you break out of the nine to five cycle and build software businesses that are profitable, positioned, and scalable. And no, I'm not talking about freelance gigs. I'm talking about high trust, high leverage client work that actually transforms you from a replaceable pair of hands into a high leverage solo operator. Like John, who was stuck in the same corporate loop and in eight months crossed over $100,000 in monthly recurring revenue. So go to code2co.com, link in the description below and book a free strategy call with me personally. Now let's get back to the good news. If you followed everything I've said so far, you're asking the right question. How do I not get replaced? And the answer is simple, but it requires a total mindset shift. You have to stop thinking like an engineer and start thinking like a CEO. The one thing that AI cannot do is create. It cannot identify a painful, expensive problem in a niche market. It cannot emphasize with a business owner who is losing, let's say $50,000 a month because their inventory system is broken. And it cannot communicate a complex technical vision to a non-technical stakeholder. This is the execution gap that 99% of developers have. You could be a technical genius, a brilliant 10x developer, but if you have zero skills in sales, marketing or ideation, then it will do you no good in the long run. Because you have this massive engine, but you are completely paralyzed at the starting line because you don't know where to point the car to start driving. So you're constantly asking yourself, okay, I get you, but what problem do I solve? And AI cannot answer that for you. That is the human job. That is the creator's job. So your core skill as a software engineer, you need to understand, was never about coding. Coding is simply the tool. Your real skill, the one that you've been honing and suppressing in your nine to five, is creating. So the engineers who win in this new era will be the ones who master what I call soft skills. Firstly, ideation. The ability to find a painful, valuable problem worth solving and to validate it before you build. This isn't a technical skill, it is a market skill in demand. Second, communication. The ability to connect the technical with the non-technical. To articulate value to a stakeholder, a user, or a customer who doesn't care how it's built, only what it does for them. And third, sales and marketing. The ability to convince somebody that your solution is the one that they need and the ability to actually put it in front of their eyes when you need them to. So this is how you become irreplaceable. You don't compete with the AI, you leverage it. You make it your employee. You let the AI agents be the coders for you. You elevate yourself. You become the architect, the strategist, and the problem solver. And you focus on the high leverage, high value work that AI simply cannot touch like finding the pain and selling the solution. And now look, most solo engineers will still stay stuck even after hearing all of this. They'll keep playing the same exact game that they were taught. They'll learn more skills, they'll chase more promotions, they'll learn about the next hot tech stack, they'll get another certification, and they will hope that their coding ability will protect them because, oh, AI is very bad and it can only do what a junior does, not what a senior does. In 2025, that game is broken. So let's be clear, yes, AI will replace the coder, if not now, in a few years from now. It will replace the implementer, and it will replace the person who is complacent in their nine to five. But it cannot, and it will not, replace the creator. It will not replace the problem solver. It will not replace the entrepreneur. So that is the pivot that you must make. Now you know what you need to do, but you're probably still stuck on the how. You're still facing that primary blocker that every single one of our students 
from Marco to John had, which is what problems should I even solve? But what if I told you that there's a three-step system to find and validate a profitable business idea in a single weekend without writing a single line of code? That's exactly what I break down in this video over here. It's the exact system that Marco used to find his direction after leaving his draining job at Microsoft, and it is the first and most important step to escaping the golden handcuffs for good. So click on the video on the screen right here to watch. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.